Warriors NRL Fanatics here, back to date with a video on my birthday. This is a review and giving my top 5 key performers from the Warriors versus the West Tigers game, which happened last Friday night. Just a few shout outs before I get started. Thanks to NRLVids090 for sending me a message early this morning saying happy birthday. I really appreciate it. Go follow his Manly page on Instagram at MWSC Reports. And go subscribe to his YouTube channel, which is NRLVids090. Also, go check out Rugby League History on YouTube, Nick from Australia, The Bundy Chick 82, and In The Sheds podcast. Now, to get into my review of the Warriors versus the West Tigers round 12 game. So, the Warriors got off to a slow start with the West Tigers scoring two early tries. One to Moses Mbai and David Nofaluma. And at this stage, signs looked quite worrying for the Warriors as the West Tigers were leading eight points to nil early on. But then the Warriors got a try to Carl Orton and then the score read eight points to six West Tigers lead. The Warriors then got a penalty goal afterwards to level the scores at eight all. But then the West Tigers hit back with a try to Sam McKendry and the score line read 14 points to 8 at half time. Now in the second half, the Warriors started off pretty well with a try to Peter Heku and they took and they took the lead for the first time in the game. Then minutes later, Tohu Harris crosses over to extend the Warriors lead as the Warriors look to go on with this game. Tommy Talal then crosses over to give the Tigers a slight sniff of a comeback, but it wasn't enough as the Warriors hanged on for a 26-20 well-deserved win, their fourth of the season. Now, in my opinion, the second half performance was outstanding from the team and there were plenty of players that stepped up. Great performances all around from every player. I give the Warriors performance in this game a 7 out of 10. I, it was an outstanding second half and that, that led to my rating. So my top 5 players in this game, I've listed 5 players. The first player I've listed is Roger Tuovasic who got 279 metres overall and 99 post contact meters and seven tackle breaks so that was a great performance by the captain Roger to have asked the sheep. The next player is the lone player from the Penrith Panthers this is his second game in a row for the Warriors and a second great performance overall as well. One uh, 39 meters for Jack Heverington and 52 post contact meters so a player that, in my opinion, we should re-sign, we should sign long term for next year. Tohu Harris had a good game. He had 181 meters and 69 meters post contact. Jazz Tavanga with 168 meters and 77 post contact meters, and Peter Hickey, the two try hero, who played a pivotal role in the Warriors' victory. Two tries, 124 meters. 22 post contact meters, two and two line breaks. So, yeah, that that is my top five key performers from the Warriors in this game, and um, we've got the Manly Seagulls next Friday night at Lotto Land. That that should be interesting. The Warriors will take a lot of confidence out of this win. Manly, obviously, they're coming off a um, very tough very tough performance or tough loss to Penrith um, they're not they've got some injury problems so it's going to be interesting to see how they back up next week just like to also apologize for um, no NRL picks video last week as I had the flu but my picks video will be back out this Wednesday for NRL round 13 also, once the Warriors coaches is announced, I'll have a video on the channel giving my thoughts, giving my thoughts on the coach. 
Don't forget, if you're on social media, we're on Instagram, Warriors NRL Fanatics. Just search Warriors NRL Fanatics in the search bar. Go help us get to 600 followers. The aim is 1,000 by the end of the season or the beginning of next season. We're also on Facebook. Just search Warriors NRL Fanatics and on Twitter at Fanatics NRL. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment. And we'll see you again in the next video, which will be on Wednesday.